When I was growing up, me and my grandfather didn't always see eye to eye. We'd have arguments, uh, one-sided discussions, and all that type of stuff. But even even then, we've had some fantastic moments together. He's driven me around to some of the most important parts of my life. My taekwondo practice, my football practice, my, uh, my talent show rehearsal. He drove me around and looked after me when my mom and my dad really couldn't. We had, we had a few little traditions. Every month, stopping by CeCe's Pizza, maybe get some flavored water every now and then. Or one of the main ones was uh, getting M&M's when we go to Walmart. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, Nez, it's four in the morning. Why are you, why are you telling me about your life? I don't, I don't care. I, I know you don't. This is for context. I, I was a weird kid. I developed a lot of food-related habits. And one of those habits was especially prevalent around M&M's. I used to separate my M&M's. Like, I didn't really care about brown and orange or yellow. But when I was running low on them, I'd always pour them out and deal with green, blue, then red. Brown would be the fourth to last I eat if I cared enough of it at the time. But when I did this, I would eat one of each and make sure that they go down by one until I only had one of each. Then I'd eat the green, then the blue than the red, which would be the last M&M. I still do this to this day, admittedly, because there's some sort of satisfaction I get from it. But today, I was just enjoying my M&Ms. And I noticed I got a green. Okay, alright. I get a second green. And then a third green. And a fourth green. <laughs> and, well, I don't usually pour out my M&Ms when I have a nearly full bag. But at this point, I was afraid I was going to run out of greens. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I didn't have to worry about that. I poured them back in to reenact my experience, but I can't exclaim how unprepared I am to do this again. I'm sorry you had to experience it too, but now you understand why I can't go to sleep, and why I can't go outside, because I just realized I'm in Silent Hill, because this is my own personal horror. So I hope you guys had a good day, and I'm going to wait for my repressed inner nature personified to come in and kill me. I feel ill just looking at these M&Ms, so if I stare at them long enough, that'll probably do the trick.